going to be an easier way but this is how I make my routes I make them on outdoor active make a GPX file and then transfer it to my Garmin via base camp once you're in route planner you need to change it from hiking to motorized route motorbike there we go uh, my village Wickenbrook I'm going to start, I'm just a tiny little route around the village. I'm going to start at the crossroads here. Let's go up this little back road. Now, one good thing about this view range, uh, this outdoor active, it, it does follow the curves. So let's go up here, like so, to here. Now I'm going to put this byway in, just one little byway and back to here and finish just oh no actually we'll go over ourselves see if that confuses things so we're going to go over there back to where we were we'll finish just past where we started so yes it's gone over itself okay now i'm going to save that there we go save the plan i don't really know what the difference between the plan and a route is so we'll now create a route from that continue let's call it something options test saved okay so what i need to do now is to upload that route i've just done into a gpx file so i can then put it onto base cam and then into the garmin Click on the routes, let's find the route, there it is there. Click on that, click on it again. Um, and then you get the option of these three dots. Download a GPX, there we go. Download, so that's ping that into the computer. Into, this is a Mac by the way, if I go into downloads, there it is, the GPX file. So if I double click that, it will start up Basecamp. And let's have a look. There it is in Basecamp there. Here's the route, so I shall drag and drop that into my Montana. There you go. The Montana is already plugged in. Or I can just run it in Outdoor Active on your phone. Now you have to sync, make sure your phone and your computer have synced up. And the route is already there. How do we sync up the phone? Right, go into Outdoor Active, get onto your page, and then scroll down and hit Sync. Back to the top of the page, click on Routes, and there it is, Option Test. Click on that, click Navigate, bottom of the page, and then your map's up. You're ready to start. So we've got both the routes running. Yeah, I think it starts right on the crossroads. So the old Garmin there, clear to see. Um, why is this one not showing? So you can clearly see that outdoor active, the purple line has gone already. It thinks we're finished. It's totally baffled me there for a second or two, which is not a hard thing to do. It looks like outdoor active has got confused already. Because I've gone over the last waypoint before I've got to the first one, it's thinking, well, you've just finished the route. Why do you need to go in there and do that if this is where you want to finish, dumbass? So I'll have to stop now and reactivate that. So let's. Uh, my page, my page, routes, option test, navigate. There it goes. So we've got the route up there now. So, but that's not very good, is it? If you, you kind of like run over your last waypoint. Before you get to your first one, just because you're doing a loop, 
zero it out. So I've had to start again. Another thing about Outdoor Active, it has audio directions. So if you flick that on, it would drive you nuts. Drive me bloody nuts. It kept saying, oh, you're off route, you're off route. Now you're back on route, you tosser. So it really drives you nuts. Yeah, this is a this is a byway. I need to one little thing. I need to press that to get it coming from a, from above. There we go. So we come to the end of the byway onto the black stuff. I always think the Ordnance Survey map is far too busy. So like on here, lovely. Yeah, but if I want to go somewhere new. I've got the Ordnance Survey SIM card glued into the back of the, or not glued, it's sellotaped into the back of the casing, what holds the batteries in. So I could just put that in and off we go with more detail. It's like this, I probably wouldn't use this much detail for navigating. I would probably, let's stop and show you what I'd do. So I'd probably say, oh well, no, I don't like this map, there's too much going on. So let's go for the outdoor active map. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's much simpler. So we're coming up to a T junction, and if you've got to got some confusion and you're thinking, "Oh shit, on the Garmin, I don't know whether I've got to go left or right here," um, you can always look at this one, and it's got arrows. So. Uh, you can, like I said earlier, you can flag it, put a flag on your Garmin. Also, both of them are laying a track down, so either of them I could save the track. If I, I, if I wanted to save the track, I would definitely save it with Outdoor Active or Ordnance Survey. And then I'd load it onto uh, the Garmin. That's the track done, all done. It's showing me the track I laid down from the start. Also, it's a nice clear speedo. So, you know, it's telling me how far I've gone, my average speed, and my current speed. Total time, 14 minutes. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes run them both assuming you've got a facility to do that. So there are a few little anomalies with the Outdoor Active. For instance, if I put a waypoint in here and I start um, a route over here somewhere, if I get too far ahead, it might change the route. Look, it's saying, look, we'll go back this way. So the only thing to do there is to delete that waypoint and get a bit closer to the other waypoint. So like here, problem solved and then you're back on track so don't try to get too far ahead it doesn't like that so the, another problem I've found is uh, there's a byway here which is right alongside the A14 near Newmarket and quite often we'll come this way and you need to go down this old piece of disused road here to get to that byway and look it takes you all around the houses to get back there so no matter which mode you put that in, it won't work. So delete it, go back to off-road, which is basically the same as Ordnance Survey. So you can put a waypoint there now. You can start yourself on that byway and then change it back. So that's the two systems I would probably use, sometimes both at once, but the Garmin is rock steady. Now, Outdoor Active, I only just started using it, but View Ranger, I did use a lot. And don't forget Ordnance Survey, the Ordnance Survey app. That's really good as well. There's not a lot between them. There really isn't. But I'm biased because Outdoor Active has taken over from View Ranger, and I've got over 160 GPX files on there. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing that way. But um, I do use Ordnance Survey sometimes. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I probably won't know the answers, but I'll have a go. 
Um, like I say, I'm no genius when it comes to navigation. I just muddle through, really. Anyway, thanks for watching.